UN colleagues. This year, we look forward to a post-2015 framework that will provide a foundation for human rights, sustainability, and social justice for generations to come. As we finalize this new global development agenda, we have the opportunity to radically transform the lives of women and men around the world. As UN Women, we have a system-wide role to promote coordinated action on gender equality and women's empowerment, core aspects of the new development agenda. We are already strong believers in delivering as one because we know that a fully coordinated approach is truly the only way to make sustainable progress. As we approach the end point of the Millennium Development Goals, inequalities around the world persist and in many cases they have deepened. We still need governments, societies and individuals to step it up for gender equality and women's empowerment. If we are to succeed in our sustainable development goals, gender equality must be mainstreamed across all policy areas and at all levels. And to achieve this, we have to work together for development, for peace and for security and for the human rights of women and men. The standard operating procedures will help us to use our policy and program expertise across UN teams on the ground to deliver substantial and tangible results. As United Nations staff and leaders, we each play a unique role in this change process. But we must work together if we are to deliver better results. The standards operating procedures will guide us in these efforts. These SOPs provide a simple and clear approach that supports teamwork and keeps our collective focus squarely on achieving measurable national development results. UN Women embraces the vision of a more coherent United Nations with increased transparency, accountability and inclusiveness. We know that when we work together on these goals, we add value to the countries and the people we serve. UN teams that successfully deliver as one perform better than others, including in the areas of planning, focus, and investments on gender. They draw on some greater strengths at the UN expertise, a collaborative attitude, and the ability to achieve real results. So far, almost one third of UN country teams are implementing the delivering as one approach. I encourage those of you who have not yet adopted this working modality to discuss the opportunities it offers, both within your UN country teams and with your key partners. We are counting on you to take the next steps and to commit to working together to build a better future for men and women. This means reaching planet 5050 by 2030 a world where all men and women, girls and boys have equal opportunities and rights. Thank you.